click the link in the description to download your own copy of this video's problem. Hey guys, Russell, welcome back to another fantastic chemistry video. And today we're going to talk about this question right here. So let's get into it. Draw the mechanism of the following reaction. Assign R or S to any and all stereo centers. Explain the stereochemical outcome. Common question in organic chemistry. Let's first assign RS to this chiral center. That's one, this is two, that's three, and the hydrogen in the back is four. One to two, two to three, and then back to one. So this is R. This is R stereochemistry. Let's look over here. So this is going to be one, two, three, and the hydrogen coming up is four. That's a hydrogen. Call that four. So now it's going to be one to two, two to three, and then back to one. Now it appears to be R. But remember, the low priority group can't be in the front. It has to be in the back. So this is actually S. This is S stereochemistry. So now that's interesting. We go from being R to being S. 100% R, 100% S. It all has to do with the method of attack in an SN2 reaction. How do I know this is SN2? First of all, polar, protic, polar A protic solvent and a good nucleophile. CN minus cyanide, great nucleophile. So let's see the mechanism. So there's my bromine. So there's my bromine in my methyl group. There's my hydrogen. There's the ethyl that's attached to the chiral carbon. So now, let's put the CH3 there just so we know what we're talking about. So now the nucleophile must come from the back side. This is an SN2 reaction, so we know the nucleophile must approach from the back side. Okay, so now we have our nucleophile set up in exactly the right location to do a backside attack. So it's going to, and the bromide is going to leave. Now, the transition state is going to do this. As this bond gets made and this bond gets broken, all the stuff here has to be pushed away. As this bond be becomes formed, these groups have to move this way because this bond is leaving. These electrons that are in this bond are going away. This bond is forming. So as these electrons are getting closer, it pushes these groups away from them. This group is leaving, allowing these groups to occupy that space where that bromide once was. Transition state will look something like this. All right, now that will continue to make the cyanide, the carbon-carbon cyanide bond, and the bromide bond will continue to leave. Oops, C, N. And there you go. That's how you do it. That's how it's done. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, slap that like button. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Let me know how I'm doing. And please, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really does help YouTube creators when you subscribe to our content. Let's YouTube know we're doing a great job. Please share my content with your family and friends. Let them know that there's help out there available if they need it. And with that, you guys, I want to wish you all good luck and good chemistry. We'll see you soon. Email drbets at protonmail.com 
if you would like a copy of every problem in this series.